143, I had a question coming out of chapter two, number 85, and here we were given this box plot, and we were really only told that we were looking at the U.S. population in 1990, but if you go further and read part A, you can see that they're talking about the age of folks in the U.S. during 1990. Now, oh, and because it was age, I actually went and I labeled the x-axis, right? I've got a numerical variable. It's got units to it, so I should always see that label with that units down there on the x-axis. Now, before we get into the, the nitty-gritty of this problem, I just want to remind you that box plots, they always take your data and break them up into 25% chunks. So 25% of the U.S. was aged somewhere between 0 and 17 years old, 25% were between 17 and 33 years old, 25% were between 33 and 50 years old, and you can see that the older side of our country, at least back in 1990, 25% of folks were somewhere between 50 and 105 years old. And just for fun, I know this has nothing to do with the problem, but I just want to take a look at Q3 right now. You can see that from here on down takes up 75% of my data. So I could say that in 1990, 75% of the U.S. population was 50 years old or younger. And I could also say 25% were over 50 years old, right? So it just kind of gives you just a quick look at the breakdown of ages in the U.S. back in 1990. All right, now again, that has nothing to do with this problem. I just wanted to point it out. Okay, so let's do this one. This, this first part A says, are there fewer or more children than senior citizens? All right, fewer or more children than senior citizens? Which group had more folks in it? Now, they're defining child, right? And I'm gonna color code this as somebody who is 17 or younger. So somebody that's newborn to 17 years old. Here's the category that they're gonna call child. And let me switch pen colors. And they're gonna talk about senior citizens as somebody who's 65 and over. Now, if I look at my x-axis, there's not a mark for 65. So I'll just kind of guess it like right around there, and I wanna go 65 or older, right? And which which group, which age group has more folks in it? So let's let's take a look at this. If I look here between seven, zero and 17 years old, it happens to fall on the minimum and then the Q1 value. So we know that 25% of the US are children, right? So 25% of US population is children at least according to how we're defining a child, 17 or younger. Now, in terms of senior citizens, right? If we look at this, we don't have any hard markers here, right? Because 65, again, it wasn't in our x-axis, but I do want to look at 50 to 105. We know that this, like we set up here, was 25% of our data. So we could say that less than 25% of the U.S. population is senior citizens. So when the question asks which group has more folks in it, well, there's more children than senior citizens because 25% of our population is children and less than 25% of the population is senior citizens. All right, now part B says if we take a look, like if we're going to break this, and let me go ahead and, and unmark a little bit of this just so we can, oops, I didn't want to unmark all of that. Maybe I'll un unmark this. Give me a moment. Let's see, I want to unmark this. Let me try one more time. One more time for the cheap seats in the back. Okay, there we go. We got all of that. Okay, so there we go. Um, this question is now saying 12.6% are 65 and over. So they're actually gonna give us this right here is 12.6%. Okay, and then they're gonna say, if you know that, what percentage of the population of our, the working age adults, right? So they're gonna say, how, what percent are between 17 and 65. So now I want all of this, okay? So let me, again, let me erase some more stuff and then we will work this out, okay? So hold up, let's do this. So now I wanna go between 17 and 65. So let's start keeping track. We know 25% is here. We know 25% is here. We don't know how much is here, but we kinda do. And here's, here's how this works. So because I know this entire thing had to be 25%, but I already know this was 12.6%, right? If this has to be 25 and this is 12.6, if I subtract those two numbers, so on your calculator right now, do 25 minus 12.6, and you're gonna get the number 12.4. That is telling me that this number, let me erase that, this number right in here had to be 12.4%, right? 
right? Because if you see it, again, let me highlight this, this thing in total, right? From there to there, that had to be 25%. So if this is 12.6, I can infer that that is 12.4. And if that's 12.4, then what I really wanna do now is add these three, right? 25% was here, 25% here, 12.4% here, and that's the working age that we're looking for. So that's where you see me doing 12.4% plus 50%. All right, and so we find out that 62% or 62.4% of the U.S. population is of working age. They're between 17 and 65 years old. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.